I want to show you how you use the Python debugger when working with Selenium scripts. It is very important being able to pause the script in the middle and actually interact with the browser. I cannot imagine how people work on Selenium scripts without actually using the debugger. It would be really annoying to start the script from scratch every time you want to test something out. You make a change, you run the script from the beginning. You make a change, you run a script from the beginning. That is really time consuming especially when the scripts are pretty long. So I'm going to show you how you can use a debugger, AKA the PDB to make your life really easy when you're working on Python and Selenium scripts. Let's dive into it. Okay. So sometimes when you're writing a small script like this, this one is, for example, I created a video. This was a, a practice uh, script uh, that is that's on YouTube. You can check it out. I'll link it. Um, so this is a very simple script, right? It goes, opens the browser, goes right to my account, and puts in the wrong password and username and make sure that the right error message shows up. But in the process, let's say you want to look at the, the locator. You have the wrong locator and if you want to try a different locator, it doesn't work. It's okay not to use a breakpoint because this is so quick. It, it, like the whole thing goes on like two seconds, right? So it's okay. You can, you can run it, wait for it uh, until it fails and try something else, try something else. But let's look at an example that is longer, right? So if we look at this script here, this is an end to end. This is part of the framework we have for my, for my bootcamp. It's a full framework, as you can see, it has a lot of tests. And one of the tests is, um, an end to end checkout, right? The, it's a flow of the test going from the beginning, going to the homepage, add items to cart, go to the cart, apply a coupon, filling all the um, address and stuff and check out. So when you go through all this part and let's say you get all the way to the end, where you're actually verifying the the order is placed and you're working on it and you want to test out some locators. So if you want to make changes and you keep running it, then you have to wait for all this to happen. This is actually pretty quick too. It takes like 15 seconds or so, but you might have tests that take a long time. Even 15 seconds is, is a long time to wait for no reason, right? So using a breakpoint is really, really awesome. So I'm going to run this. This is pretty quick. You want to see it just running and it's going, it's going to finish. But I want to show you when you add a breakpoint, you can actually interact with, with the browser. Okay. That's what I want to show you. So you see the test passed, right? Successfully run. This is a PyTest framework. I'm going to show you another one with robot framework as well. So here I'm right before, uh, verifying the, the order, the place, the order is placed. I'm going to add a breakpoint. So I'm going to do breakpoint. Okay. The breakpoint, this, this breakpoint function works with 3.7 and above. If you're using like an older Python, you have to use a PDB. This is basically the same as saying import PDB, PDB that's that say trace, right? So this breakpoint import, this breakpoint is, is something new is literally doing that, but we don't have to type this every single time anymore. We don't have to import anything. Just type a breakpoint. Okay. That's something new. So let me just get rid of it. I just want to show you breakpoint is that. I'm going to create a video actually showing, showing how to use a breakpoint, um, for in general, not just for Selenium. So now if I run the script, okay, the script is going to execute all these functions It's going to come all the way here. It's going to click on place order and then it's going to hit the breakpoint. Okay. So now as you can see the breakpoint hit the browser is still open. I'm going to minimize it. So it's, it's on this page. So the next function that is it's going to call is actually going to verify the order is placed. So I can literally copy paste this and paste it here to execute it to see if it works or not. Okay. It works. No error. So that means that means it worked, but that is that I just want to show you that you can actually execute the function. But now if I want to try something different, if I want to try different locators, this is not the right place to put it, to put the breakpoint, right? So I would go into this function and this function is what's actually making the selenium call. So I'm going to put the breakpoint right here. I'm going to hit continue and I'm going to run it again. Now I want to try different locators. This is a locator. So I'm going to get the locator here. For example, this is, uh, it is a tuple. I'm going to bring it here. And I'm going to type it here just for now, right? I'm going to put a comment if I want to, and I'm going to really, um, copy the function. Okay. Copy the function and try something else. And I'm going to use this guy here. I'm going to use this guy here. I'm going to use that. Oops. What did I do here? Yeah, because I don't need a double quotes right here. So I can literally interact with the browser, right? If I can execute that function by is not. So now I have to import it. So when you're doing PDB, it's like its own shell. So 
you let's import this bike function you can import it here okay now we can actually execute that function again and now we're actually able to interact with the browser since we are here we know we have the driver object so i can do for example if i want to print out the the title of this page right i can do self the driver the title okay i can do that i can do um let's say self the driver that let me see i can get right just to show you that i can actually interact let me go to google get https google.com right so not this in the use this use case doesn't make sense i'm just showing you you can actually interact with the browser so i, mean, I can hit enter enter and it actually went there i can do self the driver dot back like a function i think it's a function and voila it went back okay so the browser is open you can literally try out different locators anything you want to do with the browser you can actually literally try out then once you're done well a few of the commands i use the most is l to see where you actually where the breakpoint is uh to do s s is you step through it but it will actually go into the function i do n to execute the next function and c to say continue so i just want to show you the idea is you can put a breakpoint in your code and you can actually interact with the browser in the terminal in the breakpoint you can actually run commands okay so if you're using uh, PyTest, that's fine. If you're using uh, BDD style, depending on the framework, that's fine. Just using breakpoint. So let me show you how you would do it in robot framework, but it's a little bit different. It's just the, the way you uh, you put the breakpoint function does not work, okay? So not that's not the right one. Let's do robot framework, okay? So this here is a robot framework test dot robot. This is also another uh, another framework in my bootcamp robot framework is one of the really really good uh, frameworks there's pytest there's robot framework i like both of them but robot framework definitely is pretty good so this is uh, exact same test but written in a whole different framework but in the back end it's the same right it's all python so here in the same function i can put a breakpoint here i want to show you what the problem is and i'm going to run that test so robot test is going to go through the same the same flow but when it gets to my my breakpoint, I cannot interact with it. I cannot do anything. It doesn't even say PDB. And it has to do how it, it pipes the output in the standard out and stuff. That's just how robot works. But it, but it is there. If I hit C and enter, it's going to continue. The test failed because of some uh, credentials issue. But now what, what you have to do is instead of using a breakpoint in robot framework, you actually use PDB. But even, even when you use PDB, you use basically like this okay you can just google it i can put this in the description if you want i probably would and you gotta add this thing here so you can actually tell it where to go uh, for, for the standard out i'm going to run it again and if you do that that is exact same thing as like when you're using pure python or when you're using python now the pdb shows up here if i do l i can see it if i can actually if, if i want to take this function and actually execute it I can do that right that's why you want to execute the function and if there's an error without having to restart the whole test from scratch you can actually um, make modifications right there so that is what i have for you hopefully you like it uh, hopefully you'll use it. it it will really save you time you have to use breakpoints with your selenium scripts i really really highly recommend you do if you like this video please give me give it a thumbs up it really helps with the algorithm and everything and if you like the content if you like videos like this subscribe i make a lot of videos that are geared toward beginners and teaching python and selenium and automation related things and i'm pretty sure you would enjoy the content so subscribe hit that notification icon and you'll be notified when i have new videos i hope you enjoyed this